Soccerverse Game Week 10. Another week, another recap. We'll have a look at Serie A, where I will show you how Inter and Juventus are, in my opinion, the two clubs the most dangerous that will be battling up for the top position, 100%. In League One in France, we have Nice, four wins in a row. Still not in for posi first position, but coming up strongly. And we'll also try to explain why PSJ is still at 19th position. No changes since the last video for PSG, down bad in France. And when we we'll go in Spain, where Espanyol now is his first position, but Barca, guys, is performing extremely well. Not only La Liga, but also Champions League and also the Spanish National Cup. So, guys, we'll have a look at Barca again. Also, Real Madrid. Real Madrid is coming up. And then, of course, Premier League. We'll have a look at the Premier League, where Liverpool had some hiccups since my past video, but he's still in first position, but Leicester's still guys Leicester take a look at Leicester I only say this plus still a messy situation in Premier League with the big ones Arsenal Manchester City Manchester United and Chelsea in the bottom half of the chart crazy crazy stuff is happening guys this and more in this week recap let's go and here we are, here we are again guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Nick Satoko Baksaya, Ablex Saya, especially Soccerverse, guys, you know, you know, that things are heating up, the more weeks pass, the more action there is, and it's getting very exciting. In Soccerverse, I still see managers keeping on exchanging teams, I don't know why, in some cases for the best, in some other cases for the worst, where a manager comes and loses points straight away, like it happened in Sevilla, I think in Sevilla, we'll have a look at that. Or the opposite, where for instance, Hamburglar in Inter from Lecce took over Inter and Inter skyrocketed right on top of the Serie A. Not bad, Hamburglar, not bad. All right, let's start with Serie A. Let's have a look at what happened in Serie A. There we go, let's go in Italy and then Serie A of course schedule and boom I just show you the last the last the latest results of the major championships in Europe but beware because tomorrow there is going to be another match so whatever you see here probably it's already outdated so have a look at this video and then go check the results in Soccerverse because things might already have changed. So before looking for the results, have a look at this video so that you get a little bit, you know, with the suspense you want to know. Oh my God, Inter, what did the Inter do? What Liverpool is still winning or what? Leicester, Leicester is catching up or lost? Well, just wait, watch this video first and then go. All right, uh, let's start with Serie A like I was saying. Lazio Spezia 0 to 1, Lecce 2, Frosinone 0, Monza Inter 0 to 1. Cremonese 1, Torino 2, Salernitana 1, Bologna, Bologna 0, Empoli Roma 0 to 2, Verona 3, Udinese 0, Fiorentina Milan 0 to 0, Atalanta 3, Sassuolo 0, and Juventus Napoli 1 to 0. So congratulations Reza for beating my Napoli at home. That was a tough match. I'm not angry because you know La Vecchia Signora, like the Italian call Juventus, the old lady, it's strong. It's very strong. So I'm not, I aim for the win, but against Juventus, it's not an excuse. I I always want to win to be honest but i can understand let's have a look at the standings now like i was telling you in the intro inter is now winning after having won the, la the latest two matches in Serie A. as you can see all green all green for hamba burglar congratulations big boss for taking inter to the top last video the top three were the same inter verona and milan but verona was on top followed by milan and then inter all with 17 points now Inter is on definitely on the top, three points ahead from Verona, followed by Milan, which is still there. But here, as you can see, Verona lost against Sassuolo here. See this red red L here? Yeah, Sassuolo is mid mid ladder, unmanaged team, not so good, not so bad. And then also Milan drew twice, as you can see, against Empoli and Fiorentina. But look at Juventus, Reza, congratulations Reza, you're coming up very strongly and very fast. From the sixth position that Reza and Juventus were in the last video, he now is fourth, sharing the position with Salernitana. Only one point to the third position. So good job Reza and good job Jacques Lecube. 
So to explain a little bit why Inter is winning so much is because I checked on the, on the schedule and Inter in the past matches, as you can see, had pretty easy matches. First and second, let's have a look at the schedule of, of Inter. Apart Lazio, Lazio is good. Bologna is me mediocre. Lazio is pretty good. But Spezia and Monza, they're very easy matches for Inter. And second, uh, as you can see now, Inter just lost against uh, Sampdoria in Coppa Italia at the penalties. And this means that from now on, Inter is not playing Champions League. The only club in Serie A that is playing Champions League is Napoli, my Napoli. Now Inter is out of the Coppa Italia, which is the Italian cup so it means that it's only focus is Serie A now which is very good for Inter not so good for other teams that uh, are still in Coppa Italia or definitely not for me because my Napoli is playing in Champions League Coppa Italia and also the Serie A of course so the future is bright for uh, Inter I believe and also if you go back Juventus is also out of uh, of Coppa Italia let's have a look very quickly yes he just lost against Atalanta as you can see 3 to 1 so Juventus is out of Coppa Italia as well, which means that he can focus all the stamina and all the good players only in Serie A, which is very good. It just means that the energy of the players doesn't dissipate too much. You don't have to turn make turnover too much. What about Verona? When I see Verona now, Verona also uh, one of the top. Let's go to Verona. Verona still in Coppa Italia. As you can see, Verona won against Udinese at the, at the penalties. So it's continuing in Coppa Italia. Verona, in my opinion, is going to have have a harder time to keep the top position in Serie A when there is Juventus and Inter so well launched and only focusing on Serie A. So this is why I think in Serie A Juventus and Inter are going to be very very competitive. And my pro Napoli, my pro Napoli guys, as I said as you saw lost against Juventus, let's go back to Napoli. My next match is against Sassuolo tomorrow and I still as you can see I also play uh, in the UEFA Champions League and Coppa Italia so I have three competition and only 26 players this is my problem I don't have much of um, how can I say if I want to buy more players to be more competitive in with the turnovers and my substitutions unfortunately the transfer market is dry so I cannot even buy very good players to increase the, my squad so that I can survive in three competition at once unfortunately so i'm a bit stuck what should i do should i forfeit cop italia and only focus on champions league and Serie A? that's what i kind of do i use the less strong players in cop italia for now but as soon as transfer market lights it up again i think i need to buy more players to be more competitive across all competitions all right let's go in france now let's go in france boom league one league one yes schedule first and then we go to the standings so let's have a look in france we have angers one stad brestois zero Estac trois three ayacho four len toulouse one to one auxerre ren two to two clermont foot zero monaco five lurian zero nice three strasbourg montpellier drew one to one Rain one like Lyon three Paris Saint Germain Lille zero to one another loss by Paris Saint Germain at home and then we see Nantes Marseille one to four good stuff for Marseille in the standings Rennes is still on the top he, Ren is keeping its position on the top of League One. Now it's managed by Nico Hag. He was unmanaged in my last video. Nico Hag, I think it's still locked, but is actively managing it. Yes, there you go. It's locked, but at least now Ren has a manager. Not super active, as you can see the last time it was 7 April, 10 days ago. Not very active, but at least it says that it's managed. Then let's go back to the standing. We have Lyon. L Lyon managed by Gambit. Look at this beautiful green, only one point below the top, Gambit, congratulations, you're doing a very good job, look at this green, 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 not bad, not bad, even better performances, look at Marseille, Marseille by Alan Cole, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all one, look at that, beautiful green field, but a bit of, a bit of um, gap between the top two position and Marseille, Marseille is at 18 points, 34 points from the second position, and five points from the top but Marseille congratulations not bad then another good performance that deserve attention is Nice by fast lane 1903x so fast lane congratulations my friend because last time in the video you were at the nine position the nine position with other three or four soccer teams 
but now, no sorry, now you are in five position with other two teams, Stadbrest and Lille, very close to Toulouse and Marseille. So congratulations Nice for the jump, congratulations fast lane for the jump up in the chart. But PSG, unfortunately, guys, PSG by El Tuco is still, still there at the 19th position. A negative goal difference of minus 13 and just lost. Lost and lost, as you can see, just lost. The problem of Paris Saint-Germain, like Napoli, is that they have not so many players. As you can see, only 26 players. And they are playing three competitions. Because Paris Saint-Germain won League One last year in real life. So they are playing the Champions League. And as you can see, they are also playing a winning 20-0. This is a bit, a bit ridiculous, but they are also playing the Coupe de France, so the National Cup. So this is a common problem that um, I also have. And also also Manchester City. Manchester City in the Premier League you will see three competitions because they won the Premier League last year in real life and they are down actually 11 positions just like my Napoli and they also have 28 players uh, two players more but still same problem all right all right all right let's go to La Liga now in Spain let's have a look at what's going on in one of my favorite countries to be honest Spain is awesome good food good jamón serrano mm -hmm. which is prosciutto if you don't know I love prosciutto so let's stop talking about food and let's have a look at what's going on in Spain in La Liga where Barcelona lost at home against Osasuna 0-1 Mallorca, Almeria 1-2, San Juan, Real Sociedad 0-0, Rayo, Vallecano 1, Getafe 0, Cadiz, Real Madrid 0-1, Valladolid 3, Celta Vigo 0, Girona, Villarreal, De Drew 1-1, 1-1 also Real Betis Athletic Club, and then Espanyol 2, Atletico Madrid 1, Sevilla 0, and Valencia 1. So the standings, the standings, it's interesting, the standing, what's going on here is pretty good, pretty interesting, Espanyol conquered the first position, congratulations Axit Steric for, uh, for the greenfield here of the old W's here, good, good series of winnings for Espanyol. Barcelona lost as we saw against uh, Osasuna and that is why they they fell by one position as you can see only two positions sorry two points from the top so still still there Barcelona is still right behind you Espanyol don't be too happy still there but also Real Madrid by Cevenito Real Madrid is doing pretty good in La Liga as you can see now came up from the fourth position now in third position 2-1 18 points not bad not bad now it's occupying the position of Sevilla Sevilla used to be in third position but something changed they lost two games in a row and Sevilla now is down 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 pretty there we go 10th position shared by Real Betis and Osasuna they, are, they all have 13 points but Sevilla not too good lately they also changed the manager as you can see now is Piuskrut Guys, use good, use names that are easy to pronounce. Oh my gosh. You make our life difficult, you know? YouTubers, they have to read your name. It's weird, weird. Anyway, names are part, I'm joking. P. Yushk just came into the Sevilla bench and they uh, he lost. He lost one game. Not the perfect start, but let's see what's going on. I have an interesting thing to say about Barcelona is that Barcelona, because they won La Liga in, uh, in, in the real life uh, last year, so Barcelona is playing Champions League as well. If you go to the schedule of Barcelona, you can actually see how they are still in the Copa del Rey, which is the National Spanish Cup. Of course, they play La Liga, of course, and also UEFA Champions League. So three competitions for Barcelona, yet they managed to be on the top of La Liga or almost on the top now in second position and but the squad 29 players for an average rating of 81 this is not bad especially because they have 29 players not 26 like Napoli have for instance I have 26 and PSG also has as we just saw PSG 26 players so this is something to take home guys this is a tip you need players to compete in three competitions. To get to, to get players, you need a transfer market. For now, pretty dry, but we'll see in the future. All right, now let's go to the Premier League. I know you, you're very curious about the Premier League. What is it? There you go, United Kingdom, England, and of course, Premier League. Let's have a look what's going on in the Premier League. Schedule, let's have a look at the latest one. All right, Manchester United 5, Brentford 0, Nottingham Forest, Brighton 0-0, Aston Villa 1, Chelsea 2, 
finally the big are winning now che- i'm talking about chelsea and Manchester city for now they're they're winning but they're still down you'll see you see in the standing then lead and tottenham 0 to 0 crystal palace everton 0 to 0 Manchester city arsenal 0 to 0 a lot of 0 to 0 west ham wolves 0 to 0 leicester 5 bournemouth 1 congratulations to leicester we'll see that leicester is very very dangerous it's coming up very quickly and it's very good and then what else burnley newcastle 0 to 0 liverpool 2 and fulham 3 fulham also doing very good lately and in the standings all right there you go standings in premier league liverpool by serrao is still on the first position as you can see however they are having some hiccups as you can see they drew and they lost so serrao drew and lost in the past two matches they drew against burnley which is a mid actually 14 position something like that not a good drew not a good match for uh, liverpool against burnley here and then they just lost as we saw they just lost against fulham but fulham is having a good time fulham is good as you can see by this step player congratulations fulham is now in third position especially thanks to the win on liverpool but as I was telling you, Leicester, managed by Zuhair2030, look at that, I accept this loss here, it's all green, Leicester is having a ball, Leicester is coming up very strong, you guys, I suggest you to keep an eye on Leicester on Premier League, and also on this manager Zuhair, which is also very active in Discord, so I thank you so much, my friend, it's always nice to have, to see managers doing well in the game, and also being active in Discord, you know, this is what a community is, it makes the game live and, and nice. So Leicester jumped from the fifth position to the second position, only four points from Liverpool, two points from Fulham, so not bad. And Leicester is out of the FA Cup, so the National Cup in uh, in, in England. So, and of course, he's not playing the Champions League. As you can see, they just lost away against Norwich. This means that they can fully focus on the Premier League now. This means that Liverpool needs to be on top. Liverpool that is still on FA Cup, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they won 37 to 0 against Dover. This, I think, is the highest result that I've ever seen in Soccerverse so far. 37 to 0, oh my god. So yeah, they definitely are still in the FA Cup. So Liverpool by Serrao, be careful because Leicester is coming. And then, of course, I was telling you also Fulham. Fulham also doing very good. They just lost here. This loss against um, Fulham used to be second position they lost against Leicester here two games ago and they lost the position so this is a very tough competition for the top positions in Premier League very very good to see Leicester and Fulham Fulham battling each other to get at least a little bit closer to Liverpool very interesting to keep an eye on then another weird situation that is happening in the Premier League is the big ones look at that Manchester United sixth position Finally, they won. Managed by Kieran. Finally, they won. But look at the Drew and the sporadic win that, that they have. Six position for Manchester United. Nine position for Chelsea. Eleven position for Manchester City, which is a three competition player. So Manchester City is playing in Champions League, FA Cup and Premier League. And look at that Arsenal down 15 position for Arsenal. And just to have an idea for your information, Manchester City, I think they have 28. If I took notes... I think they have 28 players. Average rating 82, but 28 players, as you can see. So what is, if there is one thing that you need to take home now from this video is that the importance of stamina and turnover, guys. Apparently, stamina now, the condition of the players. Let me show you. If you go on tactics, as you can see now, my Napoli, this is the best Napoli that I have. One of the best. Actually, not the best. I can put Silva here, 92, but you see Silva. Silva is not perfectly 100% in the condition. So if I put Silva here instead of Oliveira, you might say, all right, Oliveira is 89 and it's full, while Silva is 92 and just one quarter down in stamina. Not a big deal because it's a 92 rating, right? In reality, I'm starting to understand that the stamina plays a very big role in the 
overall performance of the team. So rather than putting Silva, which to be honest is called Mario Rui, let's call him uh, how it's called, Mario Rui, this is Mario Rui. I wouldn't put Mario Rui 92 with this level of condition. I put C Oliveira because this is very important. The problem is that when you play, look at that uh, schedule of Napoli. I just played on Monday against Parma I won in Coppa Italia, which is the national Italian cup. Then I play tomorrow against Sassuolo in Serie A and then Friday against uh, Aris in UEFA Champions League and then again Saturday against Udinese in Serie A. So this makes four matches in one week. You need a big roster and good roster if you want to be competitive in all of these in three competitions. So this is very important to remember. And then I want to show another thing. Another thing guys I want to show you. Always remember to check the notifications here on the up the, the bell here, the bell icon, because you can find, you can even filter if you want by job updates, not actually voting. And you see new proposals, new proposals, new proposals. This is important because sometimes a new manager can be proposed for the team that you are managing. For instance, here, a new manager was proposed on Monday to manage Napoli, my team. And if you go there in the voting votes, actually votes tab of Napoli under manager, you can see that it's been proposed but nobody voted I don't know who proposed the new manager but nobody voted him Bird or Wazo nobody voted voted one of these two so in one day and 17 hours we will know if I lose the position or not I voted for myself I have 36,000 uh, influence almost almost 37,000 influence and I voted for myself to stay in the club because I'm also a club influencer and I won't lose it unless some other people with a lot of influence they come together and they decide let's vote Wazo. If you go to the overview page of any club you can actually see the top influencer very conveniently here and you see that I have almost 37,000 influence but Jevenito, Alvinator, John Van Baer, Rakimat etc etc they all have 10,000 uh, influence. It means that if four of them they decide that uh, another mm, manager is better than me they they all vote Wazo, for instance, or Bird, and bye-bye. I lose my Napoli. But I just wanted to show you this situation because it's something that can happen to you, can happen to anyone. This is Soccerverse. You can be hired or be sacked by your position. Be careful. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't so far, and... As usual, I'll see you next week for another recap of Soccerverse. Stay tuned because a lot of interesting stuff are happening and I'm also programming some interesting videos about why I love Soccerverse and Xaya. Ciao!